Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the principles of strategies. In the last class, we manipulated the topology of VPNS to understand how strategies are deployed. Okay, in this class, we will study the principles of strategies. First, let's look at this diagram. This diagram divides our strategy into four dimensions, both vertically and horizontally. Let's start with the first dimension and the second dimension, which are the control plane and data plane. Then the third and fourth are centralized strategies and localized strategies, four dimensions in total. These four dimensions are not isolated, they intersect with each other. For example, if we implement a routing strategy, okay, and this routing strategy is centralized, a routing strategy that needs to be deployed across the entire network is centralized. When we need to use access control list ACLs to manage a particular host or user, specifically on a particular C edge, then it is a localized strategy. A localized data plane strategy or a centralized data plane strategy. Okay, this is an overview. Next, Let's look at how it is executed after we have configured the strategy. The first line seems quite simple. vManage directly pushes the strategy to the edge. Localized strategies, for example, configuring OSPF, such a routing protocol, is a localized strategy directly configured to our C edge by vManage. As we just mentioned in the last class, the membership of VPNs and manipulation of topology after vManage is configured, it needs to be pushed to vSmart. vSmart, upon receiving these configuration changes, distributes them downward. Note that updates must go through vSmart and remember the protocol we use for updates. Through the own protocol for updates, this is a centralized strategy. Updating to C-Edge, as mentioned. Both control plane and specific data plane strategies are the same. Pass from vManage to vSmart. vSmart then pushes the data plane strategies to C-Edge. This is the transmission process. Through this diagram, we can better understand the transmission process of policy. Localized strategies are very simple by vManage directly pushing configurations to C edge. Control plane strategies, such as a VPN strategy, are pushed to vSmart, operated by vSmart. You see here a missing line. What does it mean? When we define membership relationships in vSmart, vSmart will treat this membership as a configuration, pushing it to C edge. Data plane strategies configured by vSmart through Netcom and updated through their own protocol. Netcom protocol operates between vManage and vSmart. OM operates between vSmart and Edge. When creating strategies, what elements or components are needed? Essentially, an important strategy will include one or more items from the list. For example, we might call on a site list or a VPN list to implement a network policy. Okay, in terms of direction, in the application direction, we can do it from a site perspective outbound or from a vSmart perspective inbound. It specifically depends on whether it's the data plane or the control plane. Through this diagram, this very important diagram, okay, 
When the update is sent from vSmart, there are two directions, inbound and outbound. Okay, when the Edge receives our update, note that it also has two levels. When Edge receives an update from vSmart, note that it is from the tunnel. When Edge receives an update from vManage, some local policies, note that it is directly from the service for updates. We spent a few minutes going over the strategy used in the last class. Introducing an architecture. In our subsequent usage, we will further experience and utilize it. Next, we'll discuss OSPF. How to configure OSPF using templates. Similarly, after we implement OSPF, we will also discuss the interaction between the OSPF protocol and the ON protocol. To our experimental environment, back to the topology diagram. The OSPF rotor is represented by such a CSR1KV. Taking on, it plays our DC campus network business segment. Campus Network Landside and Edge run OSPF. We plan to run OSPF within a VPN. We will use templates to implement how to do it. Switch to the template. Just mention VPN10. We filter VPN10. That's where we modify the template. Edit it. VPN10 routing. Not in this template. We update from the site level. Switch over to our DC site, edit it. Find our C edge, edit the end. Add our SPF. Create a new template. OSPF has two important factors. One is area, another is interface root ID. We keep the default. No redistribution. Area custom is a variable interface should be named. I gave it an interface name. Other OSPF parameters, hello time, cost, are here. We keep the default. Okay, area interface, we've added all. Here again, click add. OSPF templates is ready. We update it. Here is area. 
The default for the area is area 0. 0, zero is pre-configured. On CSR 1KV, it corresponds to area 0. Make an update. Participating in Area 0, Interface 13, Interface 3 means is for VPN 10. Update once, next, click step. Review the updates to the configuration, do a comparison. Compare configurations. Highlighted OSPF area 0. Process number is locally significant. Then, my priorities are all default for interfaces. There's one interface participating with an automatic cost. Push the configuration. TSR1KV, it generates routes for the 10 and 11 segments. We wait for it to finish updating. Okay, the configuration has been pushed Let's verify. Switch to a device. Find ZH4. Bar 2. We've observed the 192.168.10 segment and the 11 segment received. The routing is fine. A simple ping. Check 11.1.1.104 We found this unreachable, no response. What's the reason? No response. Let's check the destination route. At this point, this router only has a default road going to 30, which is the internet, and not within our OSPF. Okay, this is a feature. When OSPF, BGP, and such protocols interact with OM, the default is not to redistribute. Meaning, on routes don't actively redistribute to OSPF. Okay, let's do redistribution through the template. We had an OSPF template. Let's edit it. Find redistribution. The protocol we expect to redistribute is on. Okay, update. Once again, update. The parameters don't need to be changed. No need to modify the parameters. Directly update. Next step, let's check the configuration. Compared to last time, it will include the update for redistribution. Generating the configuration takes a bit of time. Found different configuration. 
redistribute on, redistribute on with subnets. This is an old SPF feature. The keyword subnet is an OSPF feature. Here we make a template update. Update. Once done, go back to CSR1KV to check the routes. Now we see the redistributed E2 routes. Test on the same router again. No improvement. Let's cancel this default route. On the CSR1 KV, okay. After several tests, found the routing response was unreachable. I forgot it was on edge. Where we defined a VRF for ping testing. A VRF is needed, otherwise it won't be reachable. If there's no VRF, it can't be pinged. In this segment, we explain the strategy architecture and configured OSPF2 templates. Very simple. This concludes our lesson.